Hello there, Nareg is here. Today we're going to talk about again a small part related to the quadratic equation but we're mostly interested in this video about how to solve biquadratic equations. What do I mean by biquadratic equations? So biquadratic equations could be written as ax4 plus bx squared plus c is equal to 0 where the equation is from the fourth degree and you should also pay attention to that the term uh, of first and third degree do, do not appear so it's a fourth degree equation which I will I will be able to solve in order to solve you simply have to suppose that capital X equal to x squared so your equation will be changed to a x squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero and as you can see in this way you are able to find a quadratic equation so how do you how do you solve a quadratic equation very simple using delta the discriminant and then you will be able to check the existence or non-existence of its roots so let's go and uh, take some examples. Um, the first example that I'm going to take is 3x4 plus 5x squared minus 8 is equal to 0. So you will have to say in this case let capital X be equal to x squared. So my equation will be transformed to 3 capital X squared plus 5 capital X minus 8 is equal to 0. So I will go through delta. Delta is equal to B squared minus 4AC. B is 5 to the power of 2 minus 4 times A is 3. Uh, C is minus 8. So I will have 25 minus uh, 12 times uh, minus 8 is plus 96. So the value, the result will be 121. 121 is a positive value, of course. In this case, you will have to say that you have two, two real distinct roots, which, which are x1 is equal to minus 5 minus 11 over 6. So you will have minus 16 over 6, which is, of course, minus 8 over 3. And it's a value that I should reject. Why? Because x1, which represents a certain value of x squared, x squared could not be equal to a negative value. As for the second uh, value, x2 is equal to minus 5 plus 11 over 6 it's 6 over 6 is equal to 1 so you will have to say that x squared is equal to 1 so x is equal to plus 1 or x is equal to minus 1 so you have two real in this case distinct uh, opposite truths in this case x is equal to plus 1 and x is equal to minus 1 as for the other part, x is equal to x squared, which is equal to minus 8 over 3. It's a value that I should reject simply because a perfect square cannot be equal to a negative value. Let's take another example. So what uh, the next example is x4 plus 3x squared plus 5 is equal to 0. Again, you simply have to say let a, capital X be equal to X squared so you will obtain X squared plus 3X of course capital X plus 5 is equal to 0 you calculate delta that is equal to B squared minus 4AC is equal to 3 times 3 minus 4 times 1 times 5 so it's 9 minus 20 it's minus 11 which is negative so just like the normal case of a quadratic equation, you simply have to say that this biquadratic equation has no real roots. All right. 
so no real roots. Uh, let's take one final example and finish it. So one final example, x4 minus 5x squared plus 4 is equal to 0. Now in this case, again, I will have to say let capital X be equal to X squared. My equation will be transformed to X squared minus 5 capital X plus 4 is equal to 0. So I will use delta. Delta is equal to B squared minus 4AC. It's equal to minus 5 to the power of 2 minus 4 times 1 times 4. So it's 25 minus 16, it's 9. It's a positive value. So I will have two real distinct roots. What are these roots? x1 is equal to minus b minus square root of delta over 2a. So it will be equal to plus 5 minus 3 over 2. So it's 2 over 2 is equal to 1. So I can say that from this equation that x squared is equal to 1, which means I have x1 is equal to 1 or x2 is equal to minus 1. Now, this was for the first one, capital X1. I'm going to take the second one, X2 is equal to minus B minus square root of delta over 2A. So it's plus 5 plus 3 over 2. So you will have 8 over 2, which is 4. So again, you will have to say that in this case, x squared is equal to 4, which means x1, in this case, x3 is equal to minus 2, or x4 is equal to plus 2. So I have four roots in this case. It's a, uh, an equation from the fourth degree. It's very possible to have four uh, distinct real roots. So the roots are 1 minus 1, plus 2 and minus 2. All right, so um, that's all for this video. Why don't you subscribe to my channel? You'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. And of course, I can share with you my Instagram and Facebook account in case you want to contact me. Or you can simply leave a comment below. I hope it was helpful and see you next time.